The style of the stone is old country filled stone, Summit Peak. It's a brow, which is cultured. Got our pulley system ready. Got our rope, our hook. Ready to throw that stuff up. We'll set our scaffolding up. It's 30 feet tall. You hold your tape barely back from your line so that your mortar will cover up that line. Putting your lath on, you always make sure that it's it's slanted up so that your mortar your mortar will go into it and then it'll settle into the because these are on an angle down. If you're coloring your mortar, you're putting dye in it, then it's a good practice to just use your hinges on your bucket as a gauge to keep your dye colored consistently. job is called Davis Colors 51127. This is the kind of mortar we always use. It's type S. I don't ever use type N on any of my stuff because I don't like it very good. They should ban that stuff. It ain't tough enough in my personal warped opinion. So Type S is the type I like to use. It's good stuff. Structural. Type N means non-structural.
we're just setting these hearth stones in place. So we've got our center mark cut here on the fireplace. So what we do is we put the joint, typically we put the joint right in the middle of the fireplace. But in this situation, it comes over and it's flush right here. And then it has a overhang on the rest of it. So in order to fix that problem, what we do is we take the, I'll flip these over. Okay, so we put the center of it in the center of the hearthstone now. So instead of the joint there, now it's the middle. So what it does is it allows you to have a cut piece that ain't just a tiny little piece on the edge. It gives you more like about a half of a hearthstone and then you can make it have an overhang on this edge. Okay, so we got our pieces cut on the ends. When you're doing these hearthstones, you got to make sure that if you have an insert fireplace like this one and they require the wood to be held back, you don't let your Tyvek go back in there where it could get hot. So you keep it back according to code. So it helps it not have a fire burn the place down. This fireplace is approximately 30, it's three feet wide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some, a border around the fireplace itself. So we're gonna cut some stones that are five inches wide. It looks pretty good to do a five inch. If you go too big, it looks off. It doesn't look right to do a border around this. So five inches works about right, and then we'll go eight inches on the top. So we'll have a, a border that looks like this. It'll come across like that, kind of arch. And then we'll do a keystone in the middle. With this fireplace being as tall as it is, and we're gonna take a piece of plywood and put it over the, put it over the top of the, Hearthstone, so if we drop a rock from up high, then it doesn't chip those up. Come along pretty nicely. Right here we just made it so that the outlet cover would just barely fit over the mortar so it comes, the outlet cover will come clear over here. You'll barely see a joint around the perimeter of the stone. TV's gonna cover it up, but most of the time we'll get the boxes that go over it, but it's just how we did this one.
I like to put a piece of masking tape right here along the edge of the tongue and groove so you can fill that off and have the wood stay somewhat clean. Stick them together. These are our ducts that we're using for sucking up all the dust. You just cut right into the end of it. It goes out the window. And blows out that fan. in the top. We're kind of doing a half dry stack, half joint. This stuff's designed to have a a minimum of half inch join according to the box so if you guys are ordering material and you want to do it tight like this you have to add a little bit more material to your list or else you'll run out if you want a pulley like this I'll have it in the description these are pretty handy to use for this Pull all your stones up. Also, these flush cut grinding wheels, they'll be in the description also. They're really nice for cutting your stones off because they don't, you don't have the little knob right here getting in the way of the stone, so your cut depth is a lot deeper. I'll put these ducts in the description also. Guess if you want to test them out. We really enjoy them. They pull, they pull a lot of dust out of the room. If you cut right into the duct, it'll take care of ninety percent of it. These are twenty-five foot tubes, and they'll barely, barely make it. We that's as high as they can go, and still get outside. blower to pile the dust off of our stone right before we pull our scaffold and as we pull it down we dust we blow all the dust off of that and all the trim around the windows some some dust build up on the edge of the seal there so we blow all that off clean it up Right here on the bottom, we held it off the floor about five eighths of an inch. So the flooring can just slide under there and it makes it look nicer. Altogether, it was about 206 square feet for the whole chimney. We used about 226 square feet of stone because of the way the manufacturer suggests it is with a half inch joint. So we got, we, we kind of halfway dry stacked it. There is 
kind of a slight joint here and there. It's not, not really just a dry stack. It's too, way too much cutting to get it to be totally a dry stack. So we did it like that and it used about 20 more square feet. So every 100 square feet, if you're gonna stack it tight like this, you gotta add 10 square feet to your order or you'll run short on your stones. So it's just one way to do it. Um, it's gonna be different with different stones. You can only use that figure for this stone. So I also figured straight through this through the fireplace itself. So it's probably, if you was to use that in the figure, that's probably nine more square feet. So anyway, that's just to give you a heads up if you're gonna dry stack it when it tells you to do a half inch join on the box. So, so that you don't run out of material. If you're doing like a lead stone, like a two inch lead stone, you have to calculate that half inch. So like I say, for instance, like right here where we did these, these real tight ones here, if all the stones were this size, like a lead stone and you're laying them horizontally and it said to do a half inch joint with this, you'd, you'd be, you'd need to add a lot more square footage because this is supposed to be a half inch every two inches and you're doing it tight. So, so you, you can see how that would add up a lot in your square footage. So just careful when you're ordering so that you get enough. And right now the, with the coronavirus setting everything back, it's, you don't want to run out of stone. You want to make sure you order enough. So that's just a little tip you can use in calculating your stone. This is bass. It did this fireplace. It's pretty proud of itself. Good dog. If you guys like these videos, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll keep delivering some more of these for you.